Nathan Adams, glad to be here with you at Penfield High School for our high school basketball game of the night. And a great crosstown rivalry here on a Tuesday for the Penfield Panthers as they hosted the Harper Creek Beavers tonight. Back in January, Penfield picked up the overtime road win, 55 to 49. Tonight, Harper Creek would return the favor in a 58 to 50 victory. And for Harper Creek, they've now won five of their last six contests. Raekwon Funches, the senior guard who actually had foul trouble in the first half, had three fouls and sat the final half of the second quarter and also sat a better part of the third quarter with his fourth foul. Still led the way for Harper Creek with 19 points and going four of six from the line in the fourth quarter. But it was Keegan Nikolic who went seven of nine in the second half alone to help propel Harper Creek this evening. Ryan Vetti had 17 points tonight and five three-pointers, so 15 of his 17 from, from beyond the arc this evening. Harper Creek at one point was up by 15 points thanks to a 12-0 run in the first quarter that lasted four minutes. And Penfield did not get the lead back until early in the fourth quarter thanks to the full court press that they instilled once Funches went out mm -hmm. on uh, foul trouble. About two and a half minutes left in the second quarter, and that's when the turnovers started to occur in the backcourt for Harper Creek. But Penfield able to chip away, finally started to hit some of their shots in the third quarter, taking the lead in the fourth, and actually in the bonus midway through the third quarter. They did not take a free throw at all in the fourth quarter. That may have been the undoing tonight for the Panthers of Penfield. Luke Davis didn't heat up until the second half. He would lead the way for Penfield. 16 points tonight. Uh, Ryan Peterson, he had 12 points tonight. Sean Gardner, very impressive night on his own with 10 points and 10 rebounds for the junior forward. With the win for Harper Creek, they are now 9-6 on the season, and they move to 7-4 in Interstate 8 play with an opportunity to close in on the leaders. They are now currently in third place by themselves, depending on how Parma Western does tonight. For uh, Penfield, that loss sends them down to 11-4 on the season, and they are now sitting at 9-3 in Interstate 8 play. And depending on how Coldwater does tonight, they could either be in second place by themselves, just a game back, or still tied with the Cardinals of Coldwater coming up on Friday right back here at Penfield. A very busy Tuesday night of high school basketball. Scrolling down below are all the scores. And speaking of our game of the night, as mentioned, Penfield and Coldwater right back here on Friday night. So we'll have coverage beginning right around 7 o'clock here on 95.3 WBCK. Terry Newton and Brandon James will have the call of that game on Friday. And don't forget to join us online at 953wbck.com and download the 95.3 WBCK app. It's free, available to you. Just search 95.3 WBCK in your app store and you can listen to our high school games on your smartphones or tablets wherever you are across this great country. So we'll see you again Friday night right back here at the Panther Pit. It's Penfield and Coldwater for our next high school game of the night. Once again, our final score tonight, it was Harper Creek 58, Penfield 50.